hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are doing a first impression on a few products that I pick up from the drugstore and also affordable products we are gonna be trying out a few things from elf and wet n wild so we are gonna be trying out this foundation from wet n wild and this is the photo focus hydrated foundation also we're gonna try out a few things from elf so this is the hollow glow setting powder from elf and this is the shade medium I'm gonna try this also their concealer which is a hydrating combo concealer and this is the shade deep cinnamon so this is a sponge here that they recommend to use with this concealer also i pick up a new primer i've been trying my best to use all my primers but i wanted to try a different primer from elf and this is a puff puff primer it also have a pump and let me see how much you get in here you get one fluid ounce so this is a setting powder here and this is the shade medium so this sets makeup and creates a soft focus blurry finish i also have a moisturizer and this is the super hydrate moisturizer from elf elf has a lot of hydrating stuff for dry skin if you guys on a budget like myself bottle is more on the purple side light purple i'm not sure if the camera is picking it up this is a prep and hydrate balm it's just to hydrate and prep your skin before makeup application i also have this dewy mist this is not new but it's new to me okay this been out for maybe almost a year now and they also have the matte finish mist but this is one for dry skin and this has coconut and organ oil so we're gonna go ahead and prep this skin i only have a little bit of oil on my skin because i washed my face and it was like so cracky around my lips and i didn't want to come on camera looking dusty i'm going to take off this oil on my face this is a smile and save unscented baby wipes and this is the wipes that i use i'm going to try the moisturizer let's just see what it says here give thirsty skin what it cave with this skin quenching fast absorbing gel moisturizer I think I did a video on this already. I'm um, not this, but another product that look exactly like this. I think it's from NYX. They had a primer or moisturizer that does, is like a gel finish. I don't want to put too much because I already have a lot of dewy stuff that I have to put on my face. Okay, so right now it's like drying on really fast. So while this is drying, let's just see what this says. So this is the prep and hydrate balm. And it says apply on face in a circular motion prior to makeup application. Okay, so let me just blend that in. Can't see anything on my face, but you could feel it. My face is not stiff. It just feels very, a little bit sticky. So this is a primer. So let's just see here. Apply to skin with prior to makeup application to prep skin. It says use a small amount. I'm gonna use that much. So it's just white, okay? And it also comes with a cover, okay? Primers really don't do anything for my face, but and sometimes foundation has a lot of chemicals in them. So the primer kind of protect my skin. This is just like the other foundation that it had a few years ago. Uh, that one is more on the matte side, but I still use it. I love that foundation. So this one is a dewy finish and this is 95 fluid ounce. Also get a, I don't think it's a pump but I think it has a spatula or something. It's like the same thing. Uh, this is the shade Golden Almond. I'm gonna do one side first. Uh, this is the shade. This is the only shade that, that they have that is close to my skin tone. This is from BH Cosmetics. It looks like it's oxidized because it ha I had it on for a few seconds and I can see that it's like it oxidizing. So I just want to show you guys a, the little bit that I put and the coverage that I'm getting. So all I'm doing, I'm just taking a little bit on the brush like this. Mm -hmm. 
but I did see that it was getting dark after I had it in my face for a few seconds that's why I'm not going to put a lot of that because I'm scared that it will it will get dark and I had this foundation in since it came out I just got sick in the mix of getting those products and I couldn't do the video because I couldn't talk so I'm going to take a little bit and put here It's actually covering up really nice. I am getting a medium coverage. So hopefully when I put everything on, I get a full coverage because that's what I like. I'm not sure right now how it's going to look in a few hours. I am going to test that out to see how it's going to hold up. I'm breaking out right here. Now it looks like someone bite me on my face, but it's not. It's just pimple. Covers it, but you can still see that I have pink pimples right here. So we're just going to let that do its thing i'm excited for this because this is also a hydrating concealer this is a satin finish okay i thought it would have been a little dark but it looks okay thing i don't like about the concealer is the packaging i don't like white because white dirty really fast and the old one is black i really appreciate that so they recommend this sponge don't know how much for this but i don't like these colors but anyway we're gonna try it out let's just see how this blend out with this and i like the fact that it's really pointy The sponge is blending this really good and it's not really soaking up too much of the product. Now the pointy side, it could get all the way by the eyes. So you could blend out as well. Just blend out the product very, very fast and seamlessly. Like now we're gonna go in with the powder, the setting powder. So normally how I get the product out of that since when it's new, I just like shake it that's how you get the product out I'm just gonna blend that out can't really tell I have anything hmm and now it's just sink into the skin I just want to put my head up so you guys can see now I'm just going to take a little bit more and just put on my nose because I put the concealer there. Oh, this is just really, really good. See that? Beautiful. Okay. Just love this. I'm happy that I picked this up. Never disappoint me elf. They never do. So we are going to contour. I don't have anything that is new. So I'm just going to use whatever I have. This here is from Makeup Revolution, Patricia Bright collaboration. And the brush I'm using, as always, is from BH Cosmetics. And if you guys want to try it out, go on their website. BH Cosmetics is like Colourpop. They always have some sales going on. So this is the HD powder from Absolute Beauty. And I'm just, I took a little bit and I'm just gonna pat it on my face just to set everything. And so far I'm liking the foundation. I'm going to set my face with the dewy mist and this has coconut. Oh, now I could smell it. Ooh, it smell good. Ooh, it smell like, it smell like coconut, but it has something else. I could smell oil in it as well, that organ oil. Ooh too much so let me just use my sponge and just so you want to make sure you blend it out while your face is wet so your foundation look seamlessly and beautiful i just want to come real quick and show you guys how the foundation looks right now you see how my face is glowy girl mm, 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 mm. it's only been maybe 15 minutes okay and you see that glow like really so I'm just going to push back my hair so you guys can see. think that I found my dewy foundation that maybe I don't have to spend $68 for a dewy finish. This 
looking really good okay so we are still seeing a medium coverage very dewy as you guys can see like I just love it because my skin is pretty dry it's always been saying I like everything especially that setting powder I just like the fact that it's not looking very cast out under my eyes I am gonna give this a wear test the time now is 6 47 p.m. I'm gonna give this maybe a few hours maybe an hour and a half the list and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna see how this holds up so far I'm liking it I cannot believe this is a drugstore product I can't believe but this is how the foundation looks uh, a little bit over three hours and I really do like how this foundation looks on my face it's actually dewy girl and you guys can see how exactly how it looks so i'm not surprised that this foundation holds up because i really do like the first formula even though that formula was a matte foundation very dewy actually you guys could see around my nose area the only thing i wish that it was a full coverage even though this is a medium coverage i like the finish that's one of the things that i was looking for and i'm so happy that all the products that i use on my face uh, works really good on my skin uh, if you guys want to try any of these products i will list it in the description box for you guys so you could try it out it's not drying i don't feel anything that i could complain about holds up really good i, I was not expecting that but, you know i still stuck on the pat mcgrath because it's just like this one that should just give me life so I'm looking for something that I don't have to spend that $68 on that foundation, but I still gonna hold up from that foundation because I think I could still work with this foundation. So let's just talk about the setting powder for a little bit. In the beginning, uh, it's selling into the skin really nice. I'm not really caring for the lining under my eyes because that really happens all the time when it comes to any concealer or setting powder. What I look for is separation and this don't separate at all. When it's selling into the skin, you could really see all my little spots right here but i really don't care i just like the glow that's all i care about thank you guys so much see you guys in my next video bye bye